Babe, I feel bad because even with my air miles, I could only upgrade one ticket to first class. What? I know, but since we're going to Hawaii to celebrate your birthday, I want you to have the first class ticket. Oh, honey. And I'll be back and I'll <laughs> sit back there. <laughs> you are so awesome. Okay. I'll try not to have too much fun no. without you. <laughs> well, I love you, babe. And the next time I see you, we're going to be in Hawaii. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. I need you to wake up. I'm woke. Um, is there a problem? Yes. I need to see your ticket. My ticket? Mm -hmm. Because this is first class. Yes, ma'am. I'm aware this is first class. Um, what's your point? Well, I need to make sure you belong in first class. Have you asked to see the tickets of these other passengers to ensure that they belong in first class? I do not need to justify my actions to you. Now, please hand me your ticket. This ticket belongs to a Mr. Mark Anderson. And I'm pretty sure that's not you. I need you to take your belongings and head to the back of the plane where you belong. For your information, Mark Anderson is my husband. He's taking me on a trip to Hawaii for my birthday. He gave me his first class ticket so I could enjoy this flight while he took my ticket and went back to economy, ma'am. Well, we will see about that. Ma'am, your husband is nowhere to be found. What? You know, I haven't heard you speaking to any other passengers on this flight the way you're speaking to me. Would this misunderstanding have anything to do with the color of my skin? Why do you people always have to be so difficult? You know, your belligerence has forced me to contact the captain there will be police when we arrive at the terminal. Do I make myself clear? Now get your stuff and follow me. Excuse me, what, yes. what's going on? Oh, nothing to be concerned about, sir. I'm escorting this woman to the back of the plane. Well, considering that this woman is my wife, I'd say there is something to be concerned about. What's going on? I guess you shouldn't make assumptions about what my husband could have possibly looked like, should you? So you're assuming that because my wife isn't white, that she doesn't deserve or cheated to get into first class? Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take her back to her seat in first class while you still have a job. Oh, really? And what are you gonna do about it? You can't tell me how to do my job. Hey, That's sorry to interrupt, guys, but ma'am, I wanna let you know that I recorded the little incident that happened earlier between you two, and it is going viral on the internet right now. You are not looking too good, and you might wanna think about getting a new job. I need to call my husband. Wow, thank you so much. It was totally uncalled for the way she was treating you, ma'am, and, and really racist too. I hope you guys just have a good rest of your flight. Thank you so much for your help. This is absolutely disgusting. I mean, I'm an international model for Pete's sake. I'm walking in Paris Fashion Week and they have me back here with the peasants in a tin can. No, I can't stand for this, no. Excuse me. Hello? Is there a flight Hello, attendant? Hello, ma'am. Um, what seems to be the issue? You're the flight attendant? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Seriously? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, I am. Is, uh, is there an issue with that? No issue. It's just that I've never seen a male stewardess before. Well, we go by the title flight attendant, and there's actually a lot of men in this profession now. Oh. You've never wanted to be like the pilot with actual respect and a job? I mean, you know, everybody knows that a stewardess is a female job. Is there a problem here or a reason why you called me over here, ma'am? Whoa, 
Mr. Stewardess, chill with the attitude. Ma'am, there's lots of passengers on this plane and I have to attend to all of them, so if we could kind of, you know. Okay, well, I assure you that I'm way more important than these peasants back here. Can we get to the point, ma'am? The point is, I'm a very famous supermodel and I am having a little bit of an issue here. I'm in an area that I don't belong in. I am walking in Paris Fashion Week for Gucci. I don't know if you've ever heard of the brand. Are you familiar with designers or do you just wear like this outfit like all the time? I don't know. So, you know, up there, they have something called first class. What I'm going to need you to do, go on up there and get me a seat ASAP. Well, uh, congratulations on Paris Fashion Week. But no, I, I don't really see what the issue is. Oh, I have to explain everything to everybody. Okay, buddy, listen. Like I said, I'm a model walking in a fashion show in Paris. There's been a mistake. Someone on Gucci's team, probably an intern, messed up and booked me in coach. Ma'am, this seems like an issue between you and your employer. That's your business and their business. You, a male stewardess, is gonna tell me an international model with over 2 million followers on TikTok. How to run my business, really. Do you even know what a brand deal is? Do you know how much money I make per show? And you're gonna tell me how to handle business? Is there anything else at play here, ma'am, or can I attend to the other passengers? Are you serious? Yes, ma'am, but I will be back in about 30 minutes to pass out the peanuts. So until then, have a good flight. Ew, do you know what's sodium come in airline peanuts? That's disgusting. Help! Help! Somebody help me! Oh my god, oh my gosh, ma'am, ma'am, what's the problem? What's the problem? I can't breathe. I'm having a panic attack. Okay, so so what seems to be the, what seems to be the issue here? I can't breathe, you moron! Okay, okay, understood. Um, uh, how can I help? How can I help? Honestly, I think the only thing that'll actually help me is a lot more leg room, a personal monitor, a new pair of headphones, and maybe a glass of champagne. <sighs> okay, so what you're saying is that the only way to stop the panic attack is for you to sit in first class. That's exactly what I'm saying, and I don't know, I might be having a heart attack, and if I do, I'm suing this airline and you personally. If this will prevent you from making a scene, luckily there is a seat open in first class. Follow me. Yes! I mean, oh, my chest! Mm. <sighs> Finally. First class. Now this is the treatment that I deserve. First time playing first class? <laughs> no. I fly first class everywhere I go. There was just a little bit of a mix up. That's why I wasn't here in the beginning. <laughs> what happened? I'm kind of a very famous supermodel. And the only reason that I'm even on this flight to Paris is because I'm actually walking in the Gucci show in Paris Fashion Week. So I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> oh, wow. You're walking in the Gucci Fashion Week? Yeah. But. I'm kind of wondering, how did you end up here in first class when you were just seated in coach? <laughs> What's with all the questions, lady? Do you want to know my entire life story? My bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to pry. I'll let you be. Okay, so basically, some idiot on Gucci's team decided to book me, coach. And I mean, like, look at me. I'm representing Gucci. I'm a famous fashion model. Two million followers on TikTok. <laughs> that was a massive mistake. So... What I decided to do was take matters into my own hands like I've done my entire life. So I pretended to have a massive panic attack. He wrote closing up, couldn't breathe, attempted to sue, and I tricked that idiot male flight attendant, whatever they're called, into sitting me up here. And so I'm right where I belong. And you said you were walking in the Gucci show, right? I did, yeah. Well, I hate to inform you of this, but we no longer need your services anymore. Um, what are you talking about? Of course I'm walking in the Gucci fashion show. I'm sorry, I didn't properly introduce myself. My name is Mary Johnson and I am the president at the Gucci International. It, it, you're 
married Johnson? No way. Yes way. And I make it a priority to rid my company of annoying and superficial divas like yourself. And honey, you fit that bill to a T. No, I'm not like that at all. Mary, I think you just got the wrong idea of me. Why don't we just start off on a new foot and everything will be great? I don't think I want to get to know the real you. I don't even want to be in the same vicinity of you. I'm going to go take that seat and coach, and there is nothing wrong with that. Have a nice day, Karen. Oh, wait, Mary. Bye. Um. Ah. Uh. Miss, we're looking to take off soon, so I need you to take your seat and please stow away your bag. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. I was just waiting for someone and I thought I could sit here a little Miss, longer. Just I'm so sorry. We don't have time for that. I need you to take your seat, please. Thank you. I understand, but she's coming really soon and she might be in first Miss, class. Miss, please don't make this harder than it already is. Our CEO is going to be flying on this flight today and I cannot have you or any other economy class passenger disrupting first class. Thank you so much. Please take your seat. Oh, Mrs. Stern. Hi. Hi, I'm Becky Jones. Oh, it's very so nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, you, Becky. <laughs> Thank you. It's an <laughs> honor to have you here. No, don't be silly, no. Is there anything I can get for you while you get seated? No, you know, I just like some water because I always get dehydrated when I fly. Absolutely, I'll be right back with that. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Miss, I thought I told you to sit and remain seated. Oh, but I thought I heard my... I'm sorry, I don't care what you heard or frankly what you're doing here. You are absolutely not allowed as an economy class passenger to disrupt the experience of the first class. Miss, there is no way to talk to a paying customer. I just need a to... paying customer? Barely. How much did you pay for your ticket? The people in first class paid top dollar for a top dollar experience. And you paid bare bones for the safety of getting from point A to point B. That is all. Miss, I just need to... Do Excuse I... me? If I were you, I would take my seat and remain there quietly because I have a big promotion on the line and if the CEO likes me today, I might get that job and I will not have you get in the way of that. So if I were you, I would sit quietly and do not interrupt me or I will have you removed from this plane. Stop! How dare you? I just told you not to go back there. I just want to see if I'm I... sorry, I'm getting you escorted off of this plane immediately. I have asked you multiple times, and honestly, I'm going to ensure personally that you never fly with this airline again. I'm sure the airlines are not going to miss the measly amount of money you would have contributed over your pathetic life anyways, so... Okay, that is far enough. Pathetic life? Really? I would hope that the staff had more empathy. Frankly, I don't really care what you hope or think or feel, because you have already taken up way too much space on this plane and way too much of my time. Get your things and get off this plane. Is everything all right? Hi, Surprise, Sarah. Mom! <laughs> Hi, there you are. This is my daughter, Sarah. <clears throat> um, Mrs. Stern, uh, this is your daughter? Yes. This is my daughter, Sarah. And Becky, I could hear you all the way up in first class. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize. If I had known, then I never would have... Oh, oh no, no, no. Becky. It has become increasingly clear to me that you do not have the characteristics that we value in our employees and this airline. I, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Stern, are you firing me? Yes. Consider your employment with us terminated immediately. Mrs. Stern. Here we promote kindness and respect. What you said was insanely disrespectful and completely unacceptable to any passenger on this airline, not just my daughter. So pack up your bag and get off my plane. Fine. I hate this job anyway. Whew. I am so sorry that you had to go through that. It's okay. I'm just glad to be here with you. I am so glad that you're here too. <laughs> okay, let's go sit in first class. Okay. <laughs>